Okay, yeah, so finally here at the CES convention. I'm about to get my registration, after which we're gonna go in and check out some really cool products. So stay tuned. So here at CES for 2023, we are in the Hisense booth and we're looking at their range of budget 4K smart TVs. Now, this particular model that we're looking at here right now is the 55 inch U8K version. So this is like top of the line when it comes to all of the TVs in this category here, uh, in this booth. Uh, now the Hisense U8K series of TVs comes in five sizes, namely 55 inch, 65 inch, 75 inch, 85 inch and a huge whopping 100 inch model. So when it comes to the processor and operating system that runs this TV, uh, we have the HiView 4K engine that's responsible for the great 4K uh, imagery that you're seeing here. Now the system on chip or what they call SOC and that's what integrates the different hardware components such as the CPU, the graphics processing unit, memory and other stuff. It's the MediaTek MT9618 um, SoC. Now I did talk about the graphics processing unit or GPU. So in this case the GPU is the ARM Mali G52 chipset and the OS is Google TV, Smart TV and you also have access to the Google Play Store through this TV as well. Now the U8K does have a full array uh, local dimming technology and it is mini LED backlit. Uh, this does come with quantum dot color as well. And when we're talking about picture enhancement technology, this does have the Dolby Vision Atmos technology built in. And with, you know, pretty much with Dolby Vision, you know, you could catch every motion uh, across a person's face in a dark night shot, for example. Um, now the, the multi-dimensional spatial sound of the Dolby Atmos uh, that's built in and we'll talk about that a bit more when we get to the sound section but it really immerses you in the middle of anything that you're watching on this lovely TV. Now this does have Dolby Vision IQ and what that is the TV is auto optimized uh, for the light condition in the room that it is in right so it just uh, dynamically adjusts the picture quality uh, to adjust to, to the lighting in the room right to make sure you have that optimal viewing experience. Uh, other uh, picture technologies that are built in, this does come with HDR10, HDR10+, Plus, and Hybrid Log Gamma, or what we call HLG. Now, I did mention this is a 4K TV, so you do have 3840 times 2160 pixels, which is a resolution of 2160p. Now, this does have, it's a top-end TV, so it has a thousand local dimming zones. It has 1500 nits of peak brightness. Now the best part here is that the native refresh rate is 144 hertz. That's the native refresh rate. So this is optimal for gaming. Um, it is also IMX enhanced, and that's for your you know cinematic experience uh, having that IMX enhanced technology built in. And last but not least, the static contrast on this is a bit more better than its counterpart, the U7K. Uh, this comes in at 5,000 to one, and I believe the U7K was a 4,000 to one. Uh, static contrast. So you're getting all the bells and whistles in this U8K TV. Now Hisense remote, it's a standard remote, nothing major to scream about and you know, to no surprise, I mean this is a budget TV so um, you know you get a standard remote. Uh, you know at the top here you can see at the very top there's that little hole for the microphone that's for your voice services. There's also a power button. We have our button for to, to, to start the voice services, right? That's the picture of the microphone there. We have our input button at the top right hand corner. That's when you want to select, you know, the different HDMI uh, input signals. You know, if you want to select a different game console or a uh, multimedia player, you know, you get all through the input button. And then you have our gear button there for your settings. Um, and, and whatnot and then in the middle there we have that circular directional keypad where you can you know navigate 
on the screen up down left and right we have the ok button in the center and then just below that you know you have your home button there's a back button there on your left and then uh, in the middle there you have your home button and then just below the home button you have your very familiar volume uh, button and your channel change button and then right between the two of them you have your mute button and then under that there's a menu button there's also the you know multimedia button where you can play and pause content and uh, to the right of that there's uh, access to your on-screen alphanumeric keyboard right that's the one two three that you see there and below that you just have um, quick access buttons to streaming services like Netflix uh, obviously Prime Video Disney Plus uh, see YouTube there Tubi and APPS or apps and right under that we have our familiar Hisense logo but again very simple very functional remote uh, basic black color and yeah that's that's the remote <laughs> So for my aesthetics purpose, it's a good looking TV. Uh, it has, you know, for the table stand configuration, it has two solid feet there, I can see. One on the left, one on the right. They're not in your face. They're very slim and very strong. And speaking of slim, yes, this does have very slim bezels all around. Uh, the bezel at the bottom may be a little bit thicker, just, uh, just so that there's enough size to, to house the logo, the Hisense logo. Um, and then the color, it's, you know, stainless steel, charcoal, gray color. You know, it tries to give give the TV a more expensive look, and it does work. Um, all in all, yeah, this is a pretty good looking TV, I must say. Um, you would not know that it's, you know, a budget TV uh, by looking at it. Um, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good quality build. So the Hisense U8K series TVs do come with two USB ports, uh, one RJ45 or we call that a LAN port. It comes with four HDMI version 2.0 ports. Now two of those ports can go up to uh, 4K uh, quality video at 120 hertz. So that's great for gaming, right? Uh, there is one cable antenna in port one digital optical audio out port there's a 3.5 millimeter audio jack port and it does support bluetooth and wi-fi 6e as well now it was mentioned earlier that uh, this tv does have google tv as its smart tv platform um, and that's a full featured capable system and that covers all of the major streaming services including Amazon Prime Video, um, Apple TV, Crunchyroll, Disney Plus, uh, Netflix, Max, Twitch, Hulu, uh, YouTube, you name it. Um, and then there's some other features that come with this TV as well. There is the AMD FreeSync Premium Pro. There is something called Film Maker Mode. There's game mode, we're gonna talk about that in a second. Uh, there's Amazon Alexa, of course, Google Assistant, these cool voice services. There's Google Chromecast, Apple AirPlay, and Apple Home. So when it comes to sound, this does have Dolby Atmos, and that's the sound enhancement technology. And this TV has a 2.1.2 multi-channel surround sound built-in system, right? Um, and that's built into the TV. Now, you know, regardless of their sleek design, you know, Hisense TVs will take you on an audio journey that surrounds you and transports you into the action. So this TV has uh, 50 watts uh, maximum power, and it also has an intelligent audio decoder and a five-speaker setup delivers an enhancing 2.1.2 surround sound experience without having to purchase any third-party additional equipment. Uh, so you can pretty much enjoy an immersive experience just with these built-in speakers, right? So there's five of them. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Now the Samsung U8K series TV does have something called Game Mode Pro, and that's pretty much 
you know, a refresh rate of 144 hertz. Now, this also has a variable refresh rate that ranges from as low as 48 hertz all the way up to 144 hertz. And that ensures that your gaming console or your PC gaming experience is a truly spectacular one, right? Um, there's also AMD FreeSync Premium Pro and ALLM or Ultra Low Latency Mode that pretty much optimizes this TV for high speed gaming, right? So it pretty much virtually eliminates any screen tearing uh, or control input lag uh, whatsoever. Uh, there's also a game bar that lets you, you know, easily customize your gaming experience. And there's also one other technology called VRR or variable refresh rate. And that's what I talked about earlier uh, when we talked about that 48 Hertz to, you know, pumped up to all the way up to 144 Hertz uh, for gaming. So that's the VRR. So all this technology really makes these TVs more than just TVs for watching movies. These things are really optimized now to handle gaming because gaming is such a huge thing right now, right, in the industry. So we'll connect the dimensions without the stand. This measures in at 48 inches wide times 28.2 inches high times 3 inches thick. And without the stand, this TV weighs 41.2 pounds, so that's not too heavy. Uh, technically, one person could lift this up comfortably, but I would still recommend having two people uh, install this on the wall, um, although it only weighs 41.2 pounds. So you can uh, wall mount this. There is a, a Vaser standard of 400 times 300. So you can wall mount this and if you don't, you can just have it like what you see here in this video uh, in a tabletop configuration with uh, the using the legs that come with the TV. And as you can see, these legs are, you know, they're simple, they're small, they're, they're sturdy and they're out of the way, right? The focus should be mainly on the TV and not the stand and Hisense has done a pretty good job of doing that with this TV. So in summary, the Hisense UAK is the top of the line in this series of budget 4K TVs that were on show in the Hisense booth here at CES when compared to its U7K and U6K counterparts. Now just for the record, this is the 55 inch version, but as I was mentioning earlier, this goes all the way up to you know 100 inches, right? So this, this is a pretty impressive TV. Now this, you know, so complete with, you know, a very high quality picture and high speed refresh rates, you know, that are optimized for video gaming. You know, this TV comes packed with additional features as well, such as, you know, Dolby Vision IQ, you know, which gives this TV the capability to optimize the picture quality based on the lighting conditions within the room. You know, th there's so much into this, packed into this TV. So, you know what, all in all, I must admit that, you know, this TV was one of my favorites uh, in this uh, series of TV reviews here at CES, and that's the Hisense U8K uh, TV. Now, we were lucky enough to be able to meet one of the Hisense representatives here at this booth, and she just gave us a quick overview of the U8K TV from her perspective. So let's listen in. Now when we come to the 8, eight no, big dog. this one's going to have the refresh rate of 144 as well, still have the quantum dot, this one's going to go up to a thousand local dimming zones. Okay. So that's where you're going to have this ultra crisp picture when you start looking down mm -hmm. and you see, the you see them enhance a little say, bit, I you know? the right. So this one's going to have a peak brightness of 100 and I mean 1,500 nits. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I didn't mention on the 7 that is also on the 8, they do have Wi-Fi 6E now. 6E. Okay. And the 6 does not. Okay, got so it. So that, um, that's going to be to put you at a different bandwidth and, right. you know, have a clearer, faster, everything is smooth yeah, yeah, for, the, right. for the consumer. Um, besides that, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, um, all of our TVs are going to be Google and all are going to feature mini LEDs now. Mini -LEDs. So the mini LED used to only be for U8 and is now going to be available for U7 and U6. Got it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that last video. If you liked it, go ahead and like it. Thank you very much ahead in advance. And if you haven't done so already, you should subscribe to this channel. 
Two reasons for doing that. One, you will get access to our weekly content that's coming out when it comes to do with TVs, TV accessories, home entertainment systems, pretty much anything to do with televisions will be coming out. And the second reason is you will automatically be eligible for our future prize giveaways. Now, speaking of prize giveaways, in addition to subscribing to this channel, <clears throat> you would also need to subscribe to our newsletter. Now, to get access to doing that, just click on the link below to our website at www.redtechbot.com and just subscribe to our newsletter there. And once you've done that, you're automatically in, uh, you're at automatically eligible uh, for prize giveaways. So, newsletter subscription and subscribe to the channel. That's it. Anyway, guys, other than that, if there are any TV models, TV accessories, home entertainment systems, anything to do with TVs that you would like me to review, just leave them in the comments below and I will add that to my backlog and see what I can do for you. Now I can't promise you or guarantee I will get those uh, product reviews done, but I will definitely see what I can do uh, in the near future. No promises, but at least let me know and I'll see what I can do. Other than that guys, happy TV viewing and just stay, stay safe out there. Okay, so till next time, bye bye.